so in this question we have a right triangle and inside it we have a semicircle we have to find the radius of this semicircle and the things that are given to us is angle a is 45 degree and the measure of side ab is 1 unit so now if we see here in triangle abc angle a is 45 angle b is 90 degree so angle c will be how much 180 minus 90 minus 45 so this will be 45 degree so this is an isosceles triangle that means ab will be equal to bc ab is given to us so this will also be one unit this entire length is also one unit now if ab is one unit bc is one unit so by pythagorean theorem this is one unit this is one unit so this will be square root of 1 square plus 1 square that is root 2 so this entire length ac is root 2 now our main aim is to find the radius of this semicircle in order to do so let us first join these two points now op will be perpendicular to ac recall that we have a theorem in circles so if we have a circle and this is the center of the circle and if this is a tangent and this is the point of contact if we join these two points the center of the circle and point of contact then these two lines will be perpendicular to each other so this is a theorem so using that theorem we get op is a perpendicular to ac now let us look at this triangle pco so in triangle pco one angle is 90 other one is 45 so this remaining angle will also be 45 degree angle sum property of a triangle then this side is equal to this side triangle pco is an isosceles triangle now let us name po as r that is radius of the semicircle so this pc will also be equal to r so let us recall another theorem related to circles so if this is a circle and this is any external point then we know that from any external point two tangents can be drawn to any circle these are the points of tangency so these two tangents are equal in length so this side is equal to this side length so likewise if we see here point a is the external point ab is a tangent and ap is also a tangent p and b are the points of contact so ab will be equal to ap so what will be the measure of length ap so ap will be also one unit now it's very easy to find the radius because r plus 1 is equal to root 2 so let us write this r plus 1 equal to root 2 so radius will be root 2 minus 1 units if you want you can express root 2 as 1.414 so radius will be equal to 1.414 minus 1 that is 0.414 units so if you like this video Please do share with your friends and subscribe my channel.